Um, so we'll go back to vaccines a little bit. Um, should people get more than one flu shot? No, actually. Well, oh, well, per season, one per season. That's all we ask. <laughs> but uh, getting more than one flu shot per season has no data to support that, nor any advantage to that. That's in contrast to what a lot of us have experienced with uh, COVID, where each iteration of the vaccine was intended to offer boosting immunity because the immunity started to weaken and also very similar to flu um, formulation that would offer protection to the most predominant strain that's there. Um, flu vaccination is unfortunately still a yearly thing simply because of that principle of how every year there's a new version of it. Just like COVID, every few months there was a new version based on the way it was evolving. With flu, given its seasonality, every year there's a new one. Now, on that note, given how many people may be you know, oh my God, here's another vaccine. <clears throat> there is in development a universal flu vaccine, right? Um, so many of us have had measles, mumps, rubella vaccination, polio vaccination, tetanus, hepatitis A, you name it, right? And some of those are lifelong immune, uh, offer lifelong protection. Um, why is that? Why are certain vaccines effective for life and others have to be given yearly? With flu, it's because the way the vaccines are formulated are promoting antibodies, which are our immune system, that fit lock and key with the surface proteins of the most predominant circulating flu strain. But a new vaccines that are being developed are looking at sort of the stem of these surface proteins that doesn't change year to year. And so we can envision a vaccine that's given one and done. It may be a type of vaccine in which a booster may ultimately be recommended in five to 10 years, but it's no longer a yearly phenomenon. Hey folks, connecting with your benefits is our primary mission and the SITREP is providing more options than ever. Subscribe to our free email newsletter, subscribe to our audio podcast channel, or subscribe to our content on YouTube. For details and links, check out the description below.